What is going on guys? Pink Plays back today with another CSR tune video. And today I'm going to be doing the fifth and final boss car, Shax Ajira R. If you're unfamiliar with how boss cars work in the game, I assume that you are by now, but just in case you aren't, you battle the boss three times and it gets faster every single time. And on that fourth one, you battle him for his car, him or her, I guess, for their car. And if you beat them in that fourth race, you get their car, which is a tier above whatever tier they are. So tier one would be tier two, three to four, except for tier five, because obviously there's no tier six. So when you beat them, you get their car, and it's basically just a starter car, so I can't stress enough go ahead and tune that car and immediately just start busting out the next levels because their cars are always so nice. They help you so much through the entire game and, and you can progress through the game a lot faster than you would if you just bought a car and went and upgraded it from there. Um, but if you lose, you have to give them back the gold that they had given you when you won. Uh, the last, I believe it's the very last race only, so like if you win 100 gold in the last race and then lose to them, you give them the 100 gold back and they scrap the card. You don't get it. Um, so today I'm going to be doing the Ajera R. As you know, or I hope you know, um, boss cars have stage 6 out of 6 equipped for everything. And this tune does not have any fusion parts in it. And the reason for that is just so it's like more accessible to everyone that's playing the game. Um, so how are you going to drive it? It's gonna give you around, I believe it's an 11.7 tops, or like an 11.7 is the best time you can get, or the best time I've been getting with this with no fusion parts, so I'm sure you could do a lot better. Spare yourself in the comments. Um, but an 11.8 isn't uncommon, so go ahead and start up any of the races. If you've beaten the tier five boss car, it's not that you really need it for anything, because I assume you've beaten the entire game at that point. Um, but it's just, you know, it's another fast car. It's a beautiful car. It looks like a transformer if you try to open up the doors. So rev it all the way up, and when you see one, you're going to let it go. And then shift into third and use your nitrous. And you're going to just shift into fifth gear and then not shift after that. It's going to get real close right up to the edge, but don't shift if you're going to go for the fastest time. So this should probably be a low 11.8. Okay, 11.796, so it can be put into the 11.7s, I've shown you that. I'll go ahead and show you how to drive it one more time, because my start wasn't very good. Um, but rev it all the way up, and like right after you see the number one, maybe, maybe just wait a smidge and then let it go. And then you're going to perfect shift into second gear, perfect shift into third gear, and immediately hit the NOS when you're in third gear, and then shift into fourth and fifth, and sweet, an advertisement. Fun fact, if you drop those, you get through the advertisement faster than not. And I clicked it. Damn. Oh, I guess it let me go. So, I'll show you one more time how to drive it. And then I will show you the tune that I am running for it. And there are a few different tunes that will give you pretty consistent times, but this one I found is the easiest to drive and it's also the fastest in my mind. Um, so you're going to rev it all the way up. Wait till it hits one. Now, there we go. So shift in second, third, nitrous. Perfect. And perfect. And then you're just gonna let it run out and then it'll do its job and you're just wiping the floor with them so you know obviously you're faster than, than the boss so i guess you technically can beat the boss in this car but this is the boss car so that doesn't really have any relevance at all um but you can beat all of the ladder races with it so it's very useful if you haven't finished those ladder races out if you can beat the boss car you can actually beat all the ladder races regardless um, but yeah, so I'll go ahead and show you the tune on here. Um, also, if you guys are still watching, thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. Um, I'm probably going to wait until if I ever hit a thousand, that's when I'll do something kind of special. Um, and I'm not really sure what I want it to be yet, but 200 still, I mean, I never thought I'd even get past 20. So it's pretty awesome to see that I'm getting some support on the channel. 
um, and I'll continue to hopefully put out content that you guys enjoy. But at any rate, the nitrous is 188 bhp and 4.1 seconds. The final drive is going to be at its regular 3.64, don't fiddle with this at all. And the tire pressure is going to be 42 acceleration and 52 grip. And if I show you a dyno here, it shows you that your time, half mile is 11.757. So obviously you can drive it faster than I'm driving at the moment. Maybe I just suck, who knows. Um, but yeah, that's the tier 5 boss car. And at the end of every video recently, I've been doing a couple crate openings just to kind of keep them interesting. So I'll go ahead and open my free one. Maybe there's a car in here, but I highly doubt it. All right, we got a BMW tire, a Ford Nitrous, and a Stage 6 Aventador part. I don't have the Aventador, but maybe I'll get it and do a video on it. And we'll open up one car. I hope it's three stars or above. All right, one star. I've never gotten above three stars. I've never gotten a four star or better, so it's hard to complain when, I mean, I've already beat the game, so it's not like I need any new cars. Um, okay, I got the Mini Cooper. I do already have the Mini Cooper. I think this is actually like my third or fourth one, so whatever. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. So if you did, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a fantastic day.